What's the crack, lads? We're going to take a look at what is coming Monday with the new players, the new legends. Let's crack on with it. All right, so we're over here on eFootball DB, and we have got the new players that are going to be coming on the Spanish League Selection Midfielders, the 22nd of January, which, of course, is two days from now, which, of course, is Monday. Gundogan, Modric, you've got Riquelme, you've got Beltran, you've got William Carvalho. You, Carvalho, there's a few players in here that are definitely not going to be worth it, I don't think. Gundo is an interesting one, right? But all eyes, of course, will be on. We'll have a look at those stats in a second. All eyes are going to be on the legends. So it looks like we are going to be getting uh, these three legends. We're going to be getting Rivaldo because they're tied to the Spanish midfielder. So you've got a Spanish midfielder legend, Rivaldo. You've got Spanish midfielder legend, Beckham. And we do have Mendieta back here as well as a right midfielder. People were saying, including me, I thought that Luis Garcia might come as well um, as a forward option. But he's down as a winger. So he is not down as a right midfielder. And it does seem to be tied to whatever register position that it is. Even though Beckham can play uh, multiple different positions. Or maybe Rivaldo can play SS. We'll have a look in a second. These are going to be tied, as I said, to the Spanish League selections. So usually if you do have, you know... An Italian league selections here of, of defenders, then you'll have your Maldinis, your Bergomis and Aldeires. So the fact that we have the Spanish league midfielders means that it's going to be tied to the Spanish league midfielder legends, right? So having a look through some of these players here, I'll keep this very short and sweet. You do have Gundo, he's down, his levels are not going to be fully, fully accurate until the servers go live on the Monday or it's refreshed. You have Gundogan here, who's going to be a, a fairly interesting player. You'll kind of notice, even with 24 levels, you'll notice a lot of what Konami are doing now in terms of training up the players is being able to get certain stats really, really nicely while keeping like certain stats really poor, right? I think they're really trying to balance the infrastructure of the game or the ecosystem of the game and the players. And the reason for this, I think, personally, is because there's a lot of players at the moment that there's nowhere else to go with them, only up. So it's a case of putting 105 rated Messi. What's next? 110 rated Messi. Unless they balance the actual ecosystem of the player base within the game and the card database within the game, right? But this is a good card. Obviously, you're going to be able to get 85 with any of these stats. Some of these cards might have booster, as we've seen with the player of the weeks. We've seen De Bruyne. We've seen Vinny Jr. Those who shall not be named on the channel. They're banned from my channel. But yeah, we do have Gundo here. We have Modric here as well. So Modric doesn't even have a level here. He still needs to be updated. But you can see ball control, type possession, balance. All of these stats are going to be very, very high. But then you've got the speed and acceleration, which are quite low. You also have the young guy, Raquelme. Raquelme. Obviously, people will remember legend Raquelme here as well from way back in the day. This guy is down as a creative playmaker, as a right-sided midfielder. Um, his stats uh, are, are pretty decent with the dribbling, the type possession. Even a guy like this, even if he has 30 levels, right? This is where it's kind of interesting. If you have a player that has got 30 levels now, you're going to have 90 in all of the dribbling stats with that. You're also going to have a fairly fast player. You're going to have his speed pretty decent at 85 or 86 or whatever way. You want to trade him up, excuse me. And then, of course, you have his low pass, which is quite high as well. And still with the finishing. So it's a fairly average uh, left midfielder that you can kind of slot in anywhere, right? We also have Beltran as a DMF. You've got William Carvalho as a DMF. You've got Darder as a, uh, a center midfielder with another Moy Gomez. You've got Oliver Torres uh, or Torres. Now, on to the legends, right? I'll keep it short and sweet. Rivaldo's down as an AMF, and he also is down as a creative playmaker. We also have Bex who's down as an orchestrator, and we have Mendieta, who's down as a creative playmaker. So two creative playmakers. What does this really mean compared to like an orchestrator? Well, you'll notice with the orchestrators, they like such as Beckham, they will have really good passing skills. So low pass, loft to pass is going to be extraordinary for Beckham. And this is without the booster. So even a 27 level Beckham here is going to be extraordinary, right? You will just have to put two into that or three into that um, or four, in fact, with the booster. You will be able to max that out. I reckon Beckham will get a booster of plus four to that. So he'll have his booster and he'll have his manager boost. That means you're going to have 100 lofted passes. You'll be able to switch the ball around depending on your pass assist. You also have a fairly good player that's able to get around the pitch with that acceleration at 78. You'll still have a bit of an engine there. You won't have to go that high if you've got Ten Hag with 77. His aggression, if you want to play more centrally, can go to about 78, 79 as well. It's a nice card. I don't think that it's going to be a meta card unless he 
has like 31 levels. If he has 31 levels and you're able to give him all of these stats here while still being able to pop in maybe, you know, 10 level, 10 progression points into defending, I think you could have a real menace on your hands that's able to just dictate the play from the back. We also have Rivaldo. I definitely think that Rivaldo is going to be one to watch. He's a nice car, but he's going to be super slow. With 29 levels, he's not going to be able to cut it. So I do feel that he'll definitely have a few more than that because you will want to be able to boost that acceleration to at least 80 um, and speed to at least 80. Dribbling is going to be nice as well. But the biggest problem with uh, Rivaldo is he kind of slots into where the meta is at, at the moment, but there's just a lot of players within that metaverse, so to speak of Rivaldo's position of attacking midfielder and if he's not a whole player he's going to be at a disadvantage if he does not have good speed and acceleration and balance and the big thing I think with Rivaldo is that he is quite tall so he's going to be quite unique but I do feel that he's going to be quite clunky um we've had that issue with Cruyff as well where Cruyff isn't as silky smooth as some others um that could be the same with Beckham they're both kind of around that 183 to 186 centimeters now Mendieta is down as a creative playmaker as well and you can see that he's actually he could actually end up being the pick of him because he slots into a lot of different formations his speed is going to be quite slow but his stamina is going to be okay his dribbling is going to be quite decent probably way above what it, it actually should be his passing can get to 85 and his finishing or whatever way you want to train him up his dexterity can go actually quite high you can go 88 balance you can go 89 ball control 88 type possession have 90s and a lot of stats there so it's going to be a decent card but that is it lads for what is coming monday i will be back very very soon we will be live streaming later on today as well so make sure you guys check it out let me know if this is a, a, a bust or if you're going to spin let me know your thoughts and i'll talk to you in a bit don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already I'll talk to you later